well, like a lot of people, I've had my movement severely restricted by the COVID-19 outbreak. And uh, while the restrictions in Western Australia, where I live, aren't as great as um, other places, um, we still can't move around freely as we liked, so I have to stay pretty well close to home. So I've set myself a small project of filming the wildlife along the banks of the stretch of the Avon River in York, Western Australia, where I live. And uh, it's an ongoing project. It's uh, just snatching an hour here and an hour there and there's no real attempt at uh, continuity. Um, it's just putting together a few strings of shots as I go about uh, taking my hour of exercise out at various times in the day. Now I am standing on the uh, weir and uh, as you can see behind me over here the river doesn't look too bad. It's uh, autumn now and we've had a, a long hot summer and uh, you know you think well that doesn't look too bad with the water levels. But the reality is something different. Over summer and autumn, the Avon River just does not flow as a continuous water source. It's more a series of pools. And uh, this is what makes it probably very interesting for photographing wildlife during the summer and autumn months. Because the pools concentrate the animals into uh, uh, smaller areas, you know, as they're looking for um, water and food. So you have a greater opportunity of seeing things here. So uh, that's the advantage. Um, either side on the banks, you've got um, a lot of tree cover. It's mainly um, she oak, melaleuca and some red gum, um, flooded gum rather, but that provides um, a lot of uh, habitat. And then um, in the water um, we have small fish, they're like, coming from England I'd call them minnows, and um, larvae from various dragonflies and uh, the like. So that provides water birds with quite a, um, a, a varied food source. And so we have um, white-faced herons, um, great egrets, yellow spoonbills. Um, we've got cormorants, pied cormorants, lots of different species of uh, ducks and uh, Australasian grebes all feeding off that uh, food supply in the pools. Then a lot of the f trees flower over the summer period and so that brings in things like mistletoe birds, honey eaters to feed off the flowers there and of course it's Australia and where you've got water you've got things like mosquitoes and flies and all that sort of thing so we've got lots of small birds that just feed off insects along the banks here mm -hmm. 